and that is why I stopped doing live commentary. But here I am again, live again, because I just don't give a shit. Phone rings again, maybe I'll answer it, I don't know. Wouldn't be a potential employer this late at night, though, so... Okay, never mind. Notice the yellow on Jill's health indicator. That means she's actually in caution, even though it says she's fine. Yeah, from one grab. Like I said, lower health, so we got to keep an eye on that. Now, back here, there's some ink ribbons. So, yeah, that came in here, and I took damage for some fucking ink ribbons. How, how retarded is that? That's pretty fucking bad. Come back out here, and now we're going to need the gun, the Beretta. And we'll go through this door. Lockpick, of course. Chris can't go this way right away because this is actually a, a sword lock. You need to find the sword key to come through here with him. We'll move through here. Carefully and... Oh, shit. You know, the first time I played this, that scared the shit out of me. Seriously, because I was running through here like, la 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 la. Oh, shit, doggy. One of these hides a clip. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. I think it's the other one. Yeah, it's this one right here. We're not done with the doggies yet. Shit. Oh, you little fuckbag. Damn it! I do not like to waste bullets in this game. Every single round counts. So I'm very unhappy about firing two shots that hit nothing. You'll have that, though, with the zombie dogs. They like to jump around and be assholes. There's another enemy that's even more annoying, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah, I fired way too many shots. That's gonna hurt later on. Reload the clip, and... We'll move through the next door. Music's kind of scary, isn't it? Wait, what music? You're going through a door. There is none. How's it going, Jill? Okay, let's go. Now, first, we'll go into this room here. <laughs> Just to show it off. I mean, there's absolutely nothing in here. Seriously, there's nothing in here. I don't, you know, there's no point in me coming in here at all. You know, we can, Jill says nothing useful at the toilet. Obviously, she doesn't have to use it. How is a toilet not useful? When you gotta go, you gotta go. In here, if you're playing as Chris, there's a silver key, or a small key, that's what it's called which can be used to open various objects that Jill can pick, lock picks. I did not mean to do that. Totally hit the wrong button. I'm still used to using X as run, but well, we'll get <laughs> we'll get the hang of it. I mean, when I played the game the other night and the night before and the night before that, I was I had the controller flipped so where square was, you know, fire and X was, you know, run because I'd played Resident Evil 4 before, and that was the same difference, but I might as well leave it as, or switch it to, you know, X being action, and square being run, because 2 and 3 use the same control scheme. Now we come into this room here. Yeah, this isn't an obvious trap or anything, is it? No, it doesn't look like it. And what we'll do is go into this here door. I think there's something over here. I don't know if I can get around the fireplace. I'm pretty retarded with these controls today, it seems. No, it's just a tapestry. Nothing useful. Of course not. I don't think there's anything here. There's a shotgun here, which we're going to take. Now, if you're using Chris, you cannot get this shotgun yet. Doing so will result in a game over. But, but with Jill, you can take it right away, and here's why. What? Yeah, you know what? The roof is collapsing. You, know, you check the door, it's locked. So you're kind of fucked. Hey, what's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Barry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! <laughs> really, Captain Obvious? Oh, Barry! 
That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? <clears throat> yeah, Thank something you, you wanted to check. You were looking yeah, at Jill's yeah. ass. <coughs> Actually... Barry will babysit Jill periodically throughout the game, which is kind of good because he's kind of nice to have around. See, already we have a, we have a nice weapon, and we've been going just for a few minutes. <coughs> also, the Jill sandwich line is one of the worst in history. I think I need to go through here now. There's some walkers in here to get rid of. I like to carefully shoot them because a lot of times when you put one when you shoot one in between your shots they'll just fall to the ground on their own you know like that yeah see that shit it's not dead you know it fell to the ground in between my shots and what it's going to do now is try and catch me by off guard and shit but i'm not falling for it so i'm waiting for the blood pool to appear and there it is Thank you. Thank you for dying. Now we'll just go through this door. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's another walker. And it's dead. I think there's one around the corner. No. Okay. Green here. We're going to help ourselves to that. There's a lot of greens in this game. I mean a fuck ton. And depending on how the game goes, you could end up using almost all of them, or you could have a whole hell of a lot left by the end. Here is the first actual save room. We're going to go ahead and... well, if you go this way, anyway. We're going to grab this chemical, because we're going to need that a little later. I mean, it's not required... Well, yeah, actually, you do need it. I think it yeah, you do need it to get a key. And we're going to throw it in the box. Now, there's two extra clips in the box. It's good to know, because I'm going to use them. Uh, let's see here. What else do I not need to carry with me? I don't need a shotgun right now. I mean, I could carry it with me, but I just don't want to. Because then it might it might entice me to use it and waste ammunition. Um, let's see. I could take those clips, but I don't need them right this moment. Alright. Could make a save here too, but again, I don't care. We're gonna have a look at the map. Yep, that's where I am. I am... Let's see. On the far right, that open area that looks like an upside down L or a Tetris piece, that leads to more herbs, but there's dogs out there, so I don't know if I'm ready to go that way just yet. Um... Directly below me, yeah, I want to go into this the big rectangular-like room that's directly below the one that I'm in now. Well, below the hallway of the one that I'm in now. That's where I want to go next. I don't believe I can get into the room next to this one, or from the hallway to this one, yet. So, that's where we're going to head. Out the door. And no, I don't run in straight lines like fucking ever. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. I'm constantly zigzagging on the screen. Which, a lot of times, is bad. Helmet? Yeah, I'm not getting in there for a while. But this one right here is where I need to go into. I believe. Yes, this is it. Okay. Got these crows sitting up here. Which, I can't really do anything about. And then there's a picture puzzle here. Now, to show this, we'll go all the way over here to this one and examine it. The end of life. New. Now, 
this one, what we need to do is push the switches on these pictures in chronological order, from infant to, to old man to death or whatever. If we push them in any other order, then the crows will attack us, so we don't want that to happen. That's not right. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. That's the lively boy. Then it's this one. Yep. And all the way back on yonder we go to this picture. Oh, not that one, stupid. Old man. Yep, that's the winner. Now we can push the one of the paintings. Gets us the star crest. Yes, we want that. Thank you. That's a key item. And now, since we pushed them in the correct order, the crows will not attack us. We can walk right out of here or jog out of here because it's faster. No problem. We're two rooms away from where this goes, so we're going to go ahead and place it. It'll require me to kill a dog, but that's okay. I have to kill the dog eventually. I mean, you can wait and place all of these. Well, I went down fast. I like that. I'm gonna examine this. Sun, moon, stars, and the other one is the wind. Yep. What we'll do is go ahead and place this. We don't have to worry about that later. Plus, we need to get rid of that dog anyway. <coughs> Great thing about this game, enemies do not regenerate. Ever. With, the, with a couple of exceptions. One exception being after we go down through there and all this other shit. Come, I'll I'll touch on that when we get to it. And there's one level near the end of the game where there's four zombies that constantly regenerate every time you leave the area. But aside from that, so once you kill everything, they're dead. You don't have to worry about them again. So that's why a lot of times I like to kill shit when I can just to get rid of it. What we need to do next is go up the stairs and make our way over to the other side. Now, the area in the main entrance hall there, you see there's that door that I haven't been into. That, I believe, I can't get into yet. Yeah, that's a key to That requires a key that I can't pick. Now, her lockpick can pick the sword locks, but none of the other ones. That would be, just, be too, ah, just be too easy, wouldn't it? So what I need to do is go through here and go up the stairs. may or may not have enough ammo to do this. I mean, you can avoid the zombies in the hallways and shit, but it's really hard to do because you know most of the is really tight hallways. So avoiding them, though possible, is difficult. It's easier to just kill them if you have the ammo to do so. Go down, fucker. take a lot of bullets. Yeah, enemies in the Resident Evil games always have variable health. Sometimes they'll go down in a few shots, sometimes they'll take more, and it depends on what kind of randomly generated health the game gave them. 
You unlocked it. That's great. I'm going to come through here. I may have to run down to that box and get some more clips. I'm not really concerned about using it all either. My, you know, because believe me, there's plenty of ammo. It's just scattered around and shit, and I want to make sure that that guy's dead. Because you know what? If you leave a room and you shoot a zombie a few times, you leave a room and come back, they'll be at full health again, so you'll have to deal with them again. Let's make sure he's dead, Jill. Yeah, he's dead. That would have been scoring hits if he wasn't. Next, we're going to go here and through this door. Which brings us into this room, and then there's this book sitting here. Botany book about medicinal herbs. Three that grow around Raccoon City. Yes, yeah, so I guess these, these... They're not native to Raccoon City because they do appear in other Resident Evil games that aren't Raccoon City. I still think that they smoke these things, too. I mean, yeah, the common accepted theory is that, you know, they eat them. But I, I think they just roll them up and smoke them. <laughs> Imagine the fight with some big-ass enemy or zombies or something. Like, hey, hey, hang on a second, guys. Let's, let's, let's smoke this herb up. Yeah, that's how it really goes. All this book tells you is it gives you basic understanding of it. You know, a basic idea of what they do. It doesn't actually tell you what they do. You know, I can tell you what they do. Shit, anybody who's played the games can tell you what they do. You know, red and green gives you full recovery. Green and green gives you double of what a normal green would do. Three greens would give you the equivalent of a red green. And adding blue to any of the mix will restore, will cure poison. It's as simple as that. And I'm back out here. Do I want to be back out here? I probably do. I'm going to go get another clip. Just to be sure that I have enough ammo to do what I need to do. Because, you know, like I said, the, I'm going to kill pretty much every zombie in the mansion. And doing so will enable me to run around and do all the puzzle shit without having to worry about them getting in the way. And collect more ammo and such. Believe me, there's plenty of ammo in the game to kill everything if you want to. <laughs> Although in later G Resident Evil games, it's very possible to uh, run out. Oh, and this game does not have the auto-combine, as you noticed. In, in, uh, from Resident Evil 2 on, it was a feature that was added. Whenever you would withdraw a like item from your box, it would automatically combine the two. Here we have to manually do it. It's not that big a deal. It just takes another second. And I could save again, but I don't feel like it. I'm going to get to the other save room before I do even think of it. Which is kind of the direction I'm heading now. I'm going back upstairs. Oh. There's really no point in going that way yet. I think there's a zombie around the corner. There isn't anything I can do in there just yet, so what we're gonna do... No, I don't think I have that. No, I don't have that item yet. We're gonna go back through here. We can't go through the door that is just to the right of the stairs because the doorknob is broken off. You can only come through it the other way. Do I want to go up here yet? I can't remember. No, not yet. Actually, yeah, I do. I need to go through here. Duh, I'm a dumbass. I think there's zombies around the corner here. This door... Armor. Armor key I'll be finding pretty soon. I think there's a zombie around the corner that I can get rid of. Yeah, there is. I like keeping them at a distance because I can time, you know, I can watch and see if they're gonna fall. You know, fake that they're dead, that kind of annoying shit, but... Let's go out here, which takes us into the main hallway. Up above the main hallway, anyway. Barry! 
Hey! Jill! What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa! This hall is dangerous! Maybe it's better to fuck you talking our escape about? first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. <laughs> Acid rounds. Nice. Bye, Barry. Yeah, we get what uses them in a minute. But before I progress, I wanted to show something quick, because I didn't show this right away for some reason. I don't know. I was probably, like, wrapped up in talking about the game and shit. But this is cool, so I have to show it as soon as we get down the stairs. Yeah, if you try and leave the mansion, this is what happens. <laughs> the dog doesn't like it. And then it says it's too dangerous to go. So speaking of, yeah, Barry said this hall is dangerous. Nothing's happened here. What the fuck? <laughs> <You know? laughs> this is probably the safest room in the game, I'm, aside from the save rooms. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Get up there, damn it. As far as acid rounds being good on living things, yeah, that's, that's dead on. Uh, what it means is against zombies... They, yeah. yeah, I mean, they'll kill them in one shot because they have high damage, but they're not real good on them. <coughs> Acid rounds are especially good against BOWs, bioorganic weapons, such as, yeah, well, well, the dogs. No, the dogs are dead. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll get into those later when we start running into them. Well, actually, no, the dogs are technically considered BOWs, I think. Anyway, we're going into this door next because there's something here we want. There's this blood trail which Jill can examine. It is, actually, unfortunately. Oh well. And head out here. Yeah, get around the corner, dumbass. You see that? We're gonna grab that right fucking now. The bazooka. It's actually a grenade launcher or bazooka, same difference. Now, if we examine the body, a bunch of crows will attack us, so we're not gonna examine the body. That's another stars member. That's forest. By not examining the body, we don't have to deal with the crows. Now, this bazooka can only hold six rounds. You know, those that saw me quote Veronica walk through, you know, saying, yeah, grenade launchers are great, they can hold, you know, you can put unlimited of a round type in them, etc. Yeah, you can, from two onward. This game, it's restricted. In this game, it was limited to six. That was another little mechanic they added for later on. But, we've got that. You know, now, look at this shit, Jill's now fully loaded. You know, it's like, how far into the game am I? Not very, you know. I already have a shotgun and this thing and acid rounds, but there's nothing I'm going to use these on anytime soon. Oh, yeah. Or as Chris has to dive around hoops, there's nothing over here, no point coming back here, just thought I'd show that. Chris has to jump through a whole bunch of hoops just to get the fucking shotgun, but still. He can fight with his knife a lot better. Now we're gonna go in here and take this zombie out. Hey, you fuckbag, wait till I fire the shot to drop. I hate that shit. That's why you want to fire very slowly. Yep, yeah, it'll just stand there for a minute. Back up, asshole. Another thing that this director's cut version of the game added was auto-aim. Auto-aim was not in the original game, believe it or not. The next thing we want to do is grab the blade and uh, push the statue like this. Stay on, on 
statue too. What we're gonna do is push it right into this dumbass. And then we're gonna use the knife to kill him. There's nothing it can do because it's too stupid to walk around the statue. <laughs> Look at this shit. What a dumbass. Dumbest enemy, I think, in the game. It's dead. And now we can push the statue right over it like it's not there. Isn't that funny? One more, and we want to push it off of this hole in the balcony here. We'll just leave that there. It's no hurry to go get that. Anyway, now that they're done, we can head this way. Listening to the clock. And go through this door. I believe there's more zombies in here to kill. Yeah, there's zombies in here, at least two. It's dead. Excellent. That's a nice shot. Look at how stupid it is trying to get at me from that side. The auto-aim is nice in the sense that it can save you bullets. So, you know, a shot like that would be hard to make, you know, with manual aim, because you'd have to be moving the stick and such. Originally, Capcom hadn't intended on putting it in the games, but I guess they decided to because it was too hard? I don't know. <laughs> I remember playing without the auto-aim, and yeah, it was hard to do shoot sometimes, but the emphasis of the game was never combat. It was, you know, puzzle solving and staying alive. Down here is more zombies, but this is where I want to go. It wasn't until actually later on that they started to actually put more emphasis into the combat system of the games. Did I just blow its arm off? I think I did. It's dead. There's another one by this around the corner that tries to ambush you, so what I like to do is do this. Walk towards it slowly. I don't know if that's dead or not. I can't tell from the blood pool from this angle, so we're just going to grab a blade and stab it. Not dead. Now it is. The knife's actually somewhat useful in this game. I will carry it around as much as I can. I have five bullets left to put this one down. There's one more over here. Let's see if it's enough. If not, I'm going to kill it with the blade. Of course not. Has to be a fucking strong one. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. Again, their health varies. Sometimes that won't work and you'll get grabbed and torn apart. And that's not good. I don't have any ammo. I don't care. I'm going into this room. No, I'm not. Need to find the armor key first. So we'll head in here. To the next save room. And what is this? Christmas music? Sounds like it, doesn't it? And there's a big ribbon here. I might as well pick that up. Look at how small they look. They're, they look like little dots. It's almost hard to see them and shit. So what we'll do next is go in here. No, don't do that. that. And the start button will instantly cancel, which is kind of nice. You don't have to like, keep pressing the back button, which is square. And I don't need this. Definitely don't need these right now. I'll need that clip. And also this chemical. And no. Thinking about taking it just in case I run into a bind because I've got 15 rounds. <laughs> I don't want to check it. I want to load the gun. God damn it. There we go. 